definitely is a piece of film here because look, what we get is her getting into a car in empty streets seen from above, an image of loneliness. She's on her own. We see her driving. The camera picks up on the bracelets, the cloth bracelets on her arm. These are usually signifiers of memories, memories of past events. So she's lonely now. She, she remembers uh, the past somewhat through objects that she has. The interviewer, uh, we see her interviewing her through a mirror. It's literally Alice through the looking glass. It's red pill, blue pill. We're seeing everything through a, dark, a, a glass darkly. We're seeing everything distorted in some way. Uh, it's montage, it's surrealism that's being set up here. And so justifiably, from my point of view, we've got a highly produced piece of documentary that at the end of it, as she's talking about therapy and trauma, leaves us, I think, as the audience, slightly confused. And it's designed to do that. So we've got to be careful as we go through analyzing her that we also analyze how she's being projected to us, how the filmmaker is trying to manipulate us because the filmmaker is doing a manipulation. And I think it's fair to find out early that she's going to be doing a manipulation as well. And 